Hello, this is DMA Cheats and in this video I will show you tutorial how to flash your DMA card. After you buy something from DMA Cheats you will receive this folder. Let's open it and go to firmware folder. Here you will see text and video manual. Let's open text one. And it will be opened our website where you can see detailed text instructions with pictures on how to flash your DMA card. So let's follow it. First of all, you need to make sure that your main computer meets system requirements. I will show you example how to make it in BIOS. In my ASUS motherboard, in order to disable secure boot, I need to go to the advanced, boot, secure boot, OS type and choose the other OS section. You can Google how to do it on your motherboard. Next, I just go into the search and look for VTD. It should be disabled. Next, I'm looking for Intel virtualization technology. It should also be disabled. This process may look different on different computers. Use Google to find out how. The full list of system requirements is written here. And then you can go to next step. Install DMA card in PCI Express slot of your motherboard in main computer. Then insert USB 3 cable into the DMA GTEC port. It can have name CFIG G also. Insert the other side into a USB 3 port on the second computer. Start your DMA card and main computer. And then next action I will do only on second computer. It's very important. Let's install GTEC driver. Success. Next, I need to move this file to desktop. Let's copy it. Okay. And I need to move my firmware file to desktop. Here is it. Let's run. GTEC firmware installer, choose your firmware file and click start. Now we need to wait about uh, one or two minutes. Okay, we see that update was complete. We can close it. And after that, we need to move USB cable from JTAG port to data port on your DMA card. Let's do it. I moved cable. Now I need to reboot both computers, main and second one. After reboot, I need to go to device manager and find this device, FTDI FT601 USB 3 bridge device. And as you can see in instruction, I need to uninstall this device and delete this driver. Now I need to disconnect cable from DMA card and turn it off using button or switch. Now let's open device manager again and connect cable back to data port on your DMA card and uh, start DMA card using button or switch.
okay as you could see just now it was appeared a uh, device with name FTDI super speed FIFO bridge in other devices and then it disappeared from here and appeared this this device again it means that I use good firmware and driver was installed automatically by Windows so I don't need to do anything if it if it's not happened then you need to follow this point and install driver manually from from this folder so how it works you just need to for example click on uh, this device FTDI super speed FIFO bridge but in my case now I need to uh, it doesn't have so I will just show it again and second one update driver browse on this computer select yeah and just select this but in my case it will show that the best driver already installed it's okay now let's start DMA test as you can see it works and speed is very high because I use good DMA card and good firmware which you can buy on our website so it was video instruction how to flash your DMA card. See you in the next videos.